So this is a nice straightforward transformation question that comes up quite a lot, where it says the diagram below shows some reactions of phenol, and we've got phenol going to tribromophenol, we've got phenol going to sodium phenoxide, we have phenol going to nitrophenol, and then we have phenol going to this molecule over here. And it says on the diagram above, identify, identify suitable reagents that could be used to carry out reactions 1, 2 and 3. And the way to do this if you don't know the reactions is to spot the difference. Look at your starting material, look at this thing you're starting with, phenol, and work out what atoms are different from that, from your product. So over here, the difference is bromine. So if you didn't know, you could work out that to take bromine to bromophenol, you need to add Br2. Go down here, you need to nitrate the phenol. And the nitration reaction conditions are... Concentrate nitric acid, concentrate sulfuric acid. And part two, if we go from phenol to sodium phenoxide, the way to look at this is that hydrogen there is acidic. It's got a pK of around 10. So if I was to ask you how to go from there to there and you didn't know it, look at what would happen if I was asked you to go from, say, a carboxylic acid up to the sodium salt of a carboxylic acid. So to go from there to there, you would rightly say that you'd need to add sodium hydroxide or you could add sodium itself. Exactly the same in case here. Imagine that that OH there is the same as that OH there. So to go from the phenol to sodium phenoxide, to remove that proton to deprotonate, you need to add sodium metal or you can add sodium hydroxide. They're both good answers. It's a state used for the compound form in reaction 4. That's an azo dye, and I know it's an azo dye because in the middle of the molecule there's this motif, there's this function group, single bond nitrogen, double bond nitrogen, and there are benzene rings on both sides. And so it's used as a dye. The second part of the question, on the second sheet, says outline how you'd carry reaction from the laboratory starting from phenol and a suitable aromatic amine. So how could we make that from phenol and a suitable aromatic amine? So this is a reaction, mechanism, sorry, reaction scheme that you need to know. So to make a diazo compound, the first thing you need to do is to start from a suitable amine. This is phenylamine. And you may have even done this practically. We worked it with sodium nitrite NaNO2, not nitrate NO3. You take nitrous acid, HNO2, HCl, and importantly, you need to keep it less than 10 degrees C. And that then forms the diazonium ion, which is N2 plus Cl minus. And then to convert that molecule to an azo dye, you react it with alkaline phenol. So we have to with NaOH and phenol. And then the molecule you get is your azo dye, the molecule which is described as number four in the scheme.